My name is Jennifer Rosado, and I'm a senior at UW Bothell, graduating in the fall of 2022 with a major in Media and Communication Studies and a minor in Visual and Media Arts. It has been a long and winding journey to get to where I am today, a journey rich with experiences, both professional and personal. I didn't take the traditional path of graduating high school and then going off to college to attain a bachelor's or master's degree. Instead, I completed two years of college following high school, graduating with an associate's in business administration back in 1989. And then, life circumstances shifted and I found myself needing to work to support myself rather than finishing my education. So in 1992, I started working for a small local construction company in downtown Seattle. I started out as receptionist and worked my way up to becoming vice president and partner. I was there 27 and a half years, over half of my life. It was a great company with wonderful people, and I learned so much about business during my time there, from office management and human resources to IT, marketing, operations, and finance. However, I began to feel like something was missing and I no longer felt fulfilled. Therefore, at the end of 2019, I made the difficult decision to leave my job and return to college to attain my bachelor's degree, a goal I had been hoping to achieve for as long as I can remember. I also wanted to make a career change into a field that would fuel my passion for creativity. After completing a few prerequisites at Bellevue College, I began my UW Bothell journey in the winter quarter of 2021. I decided to major in media and communication studies because I wanted to develop skills in media production, but also because I wanted a major that would prepare me for a range of disciplines and professional avenues. I chose to minor in visual and media arts so that I could further advance my skills in various artistic mediums, such as video production and photography. Over the past two years at UW Bothell, I have had the opportunity to expand my knowledge in a vast range of subjects, from marine diversity and conservation, ethnic studies, and data visualization, to photography, drawing, filmmaking, and video art. My education has prepared me to leave UW Bothell with a much stronger understanding of the world around me. For example, in my marine diversity and conservation course, I gained a much deeper understanding of the impacts to humanity if we fail to maintain the health of our oceans and the sea life that inhabit them. Through my species project, I took a deep dive into one specific type of coral, elkhorn coral, learning that it is one of the most important types of coral in the Caribbean due to its ability to withstand high energy conditions and its dense interlocking groups, which give it the ability to form coral reefs. These coral reefs are critical not only for the diverse habitat they provide for many other invertebrates and fish, but also for their ability to protect the shoreline from large waves and storms. Elkhorn coral was once the most common type of coral found in the Caribbean, but has seen a drastic decline since the 1970s, primarily due to a disease called white band disease, which is thought to be caused by the rise in ocean temperatures due to climate change. Although white band disease is the most serious threat, there are others such as destructive fishing practices, pollution, boat anchors, and breakage associated with coastal construction and development. Throughout my research, I also learned about the various restoration projects taking place to try and recover this species. By gaining knowledge of elkhorn coral and other marine species and their critical role in our oceans, I've become much more aware of the actions I can personally take to ensure I am not contributing to the problem, such as eliminating the use of plastics and wearing reef-friendly sunblock when swimming in the ocean. In my comparative ethnic studies course, I gained a much more honest view of our nation's history as it pertains to race, a much different one than what I experienced back in high school over 30 years ago. My eyes were open to the ways our society has been conditioned to believe race is real when in fact scientific studies have demonstrated that the concept of race is a social construct and that there are no genetic markers that define race. It has been used to classify people into different groups. Race assumes that external differences are related to other internal and more complex differences, such as intelligence or athletic ability. While we know race is a myth, racism continues. Through my midterm essay, I explored the many reasons for this, 
such as the institutions, laws, practices, and policies that structure our society and how they have historically channeled wealth and opportunity to white people. Looking at history through the perspective of people who have been consistently marginalized has challenged my assumptions and helped me to improve my ability to examine historical or current events with a more critical mind. In my data visualization class, I learned the fundamentals of developing graphs, charts, and maps, and how a well-designed presentation of data can communicate complex ideas with clarity, precision, and efficiency. I was also able to develop skills in software such as Tableau and RStudio. One of the ways I was able to practice my data visualization skills was through a class project where I analyzed UW Bothell student data to compare two-year student retention rates between campus-based and community-based high-impact practices. The final product was a research paper outlining the results, as well as a visual representation using stacked bar graphs generated in Tableau. Coming from a business background, I understand the value of intelligent data in making informed decisions. Gaining experience in both the concepts of data visualization, as well as the software, is a powerful skill to add to my toolbox and will be beneficial in nearly any career. Over the course of my time at UW Bothell, I took several different photography classes ranging from basic photography skills to conceptual photography, documentary photography, and photojournalism. In my photography as art class, not only did I learn the fundamentals of camera operation, such as aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, but also how to properly compose a shot and create more interesting photos. In both my documentary photography and photojournalism classes, I learned the power of photos in telling a story and the many ways photos have been used throughout history as a tool for social reform. One of the skills I have gained during my time at UW Bothell for which I am most proud is video production and editing. From narrative filmmaking and video art, to remix and video installation, I have developed strong capabilities in this arena. I have become well-versed in several software applications used for post-production, such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and Final Cut Pro. Through my narrative filmmaking class, I learned how to write scripts, create storyboards, and treatment documents. I gained the fundamental skills used in filmmaking, such as directing, location scouting, lighting, audio, shot selection, and camera angles. In my video art class, I really improved my creativity. This type of video is not about communicating a story, but instead focuses on the medium itself. It was more about creating beauty, mystery, and interesting scenes that challenge the viewer's mind. One of my projects for this class was titled Wildest Dreams, and it was representative of some of the craziest things I've dreamt about over the years. In my video remix class, I learned how to take existing footage and create an entirely different piece of work that conveys new meaning. In one example, I explored the concept of time constantly moving forward, never stopping. I curated several historical video clips from the Prelinger archives, editing them so that each clip moved in the same direction to symbolize time moving forward. And in my advanced visual and media arts workshop, I gained experience in the discipline of video installation. Working with a small group of my classmates, we came up with a concept focusing on past, present, and future, which we then visually interpreted through a video installation using three projectors, original footage, and a disco ball to help reflect tiny mirror images of the video throughout the space. The footage consisted of old family movies to represent the past, and original video clips created from ordinary objects edited to appear futuristic and space-like to represent the future. The disco ball reflecting all the objects simultaneously was intended to represent the present and immerse the viewer in the experience. Space sounds and recorded voices of our team members stating favorite memories and hopes for the future completed the project. These sample projects are only a small representation of the skills and knowledge I have gained during my time at UW Bothell, but I believe they demonstrate the diversity of my education. While I am not exactly certain where I will go from here, I do know that completing my bachelor's degree is an accomplishment that I am extremely proud of. It has helped build my confidence and rediscover my self-worth. 
I feel incredibly lucky to have been given this second chance to return to college at this stage in my life. And I'm forever grateful to my family and friends who supported me along the way. Thank you for listening.